Hi, this is Josh, pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Freestyle Control Solution. You can use it to test the accuracy of your Freestyle test strips. Now, first off, you need to identify the correct um, control solution for the Freestyle meter that you have. There's a couple different ones. They both, I had a local pharmacy order these for me. They both run about $8 for a box, and each one has the high and low control solution in it. This one right here is for the Freestyle Freedom, Freestyle Freedom Light, Freestyle Light, Omnipod, and Freestyle Insulinx. So that one. And then the Medisense, this is, I was a little confused when I was looking for this because it's called Medisense, but that, if you look on the back, let's see, right? on the back here you can see that's for the freestyle precision freestyle precision pro precision exceed pro um, the neo uh, oh this can also be used for rely on ultima and optimum uh, glucose control solutions this also works with the freestyle libre 14 day reader um, which is a continuous glucose solution, but it also has a test strip um, device in it, so you can use it to test the accuracy of that. But I have a Freestyle Precision Neo that I'm going to demonstrate in this video, so the Medisense is the one that I want to use. You want to be sure to check your owner manual or make sure that your meter is listed on the control solution, otherwise your test results won't be meaningful. So to do a control test with this, of course, you're going to put a strip in. And when, a uh, good question is, when should you do a control solution test? Most people don't have to do it very often, actually. It's only if you feel your readings are way off, or maybe you dropped your meter and you think it may be broken or giving inaccurate readings. If your test strips have been con exposed to extreme temperatures, um, that sort of thing. But any more... It seems like uh, glucose meters have gotten pretty good that the need for control tests are not um, not that great. It's, it's rare that you need to test them, especially if you're type 2 diabetic that doesn't use insulin. You're probably, the need to use control solution is very, very low. Um, it'd be those people who are having to dose insulin a lot and the accuracy of the readings is extremely, extremely important. Um, and if you feel the readings are off, that would be the time to use control solution. But anyway, so here's how we do that. First off, you put a strip in your meter. Now, once you get the strip in, you're going to want to hold down the button on the left um, front because we want to flag this as a control. See that little check mark shows up? That means we're using a control solution. Then we want to shake the shake the control solution bottle well. And then it's applied to the white, that little white portion at the bottom of the test strip. Like that. All right, so 40. Well, what does that number mean? So we want to look at the uh, insert that came in the box of test strips. On the back of that, it's going to have your high-low range right here. And the high-low range should be between 31 and 61. Well, 40 is between that. So that means uh, it tests well with the, the low solution. Our meter is testing just fine at the low end. Then we can use another test strip to test the high end. So it just basically is giving you an idea how well this is working across the full range of potential blood glucose readings. So we'll go ahead and the same procedure. We'll put that strip in again. And again, we want to hold that down. We signify that as a control solution test so it's not calculated into our average blood glucose readings and we don't get it confused with actual readings that we've had. So again, we shake that solution well. We want to apply it to the little white portion at the bottom there. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Yeah, right there. It's just applied 
on the end of the strip. There we go, 285, 285. We again, refer to the slip that came with our test strips, high end between 216 and 366. Right there, somewhere in the middle. So perfect. So this uh, machine is and strips are functioning as they should. Um, and we were able to confirm that with our control solution. Go ahead and ask any questions about the control solution uh, in the comments that you may have. And now again, most likely your pharmacy, if you would like this, your pharmacy would have to order it. It's not often kept in stock. Um, as the need for control solution has seemed to decrease as the accuracy and reliability of blood glucose meters have improved. But um, go ahead, ask any questions in the comments below, and I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe to my video if you, if you like videos like these. Thank you for watching.